any form. My position. Lunchbox. In this video, you are going to learn redemption and purchase by a company of its shares. Redemption and purchase by a company of its shares are two different concepts. Although the journal entries that are required to account for both concepts are the same. That's interesting, right? So, redemption occurs when a company buys back the shares from its shareholders. But those shares were originally issued as redeemable. When they are actually redeemed, we say it's a redemption of shares. But there are cases when the company purchases the, its shares from its shareholders, but those shares were not originally issued as redeemable shares. That's called purchase by a company of its shares. It's not redemption. Okay? So, what are the reasons for the company to issue redeemable shares? Okay, the first reason is, uh, there is a, a why here. They can be redeemed when there is surplus funds. Okay, when, when the company has made money, the original owners might consider buying back the shares from the other shareholders so that they remain in full control of their business and also enjoying the, the profits alone. You see? So they may issue redeemable preference shares so as to redeem them when they have surplus funds. Okay? The other reason is capital may be needed in the medium term for a project. So there is no need for, for a permanent uh, source of finance like selling ordinary shares. Yes, because if we need the capital in in the short or medium term, we just issue redeemable shares so that the shareholders give us the money and we fund the project. After the funding is done and the project is now giving us returns, we can then pay back the and we remain in business enjoying the what the, the profits. Then a potential investor may be encouraged to invest if the shares are redeemable by the company. Some shareholders who are risk averse might be lured, might be attracted by that offer. So the, the redeemable preferences may encourage investors to to invest in the business so we have this point here if a shareholder in a family company dies his personal representatives may require money back agently okay maybe the company is uh, is a family company the the advantage of the reason for issuing redeemable preference shares is um, they can be redeemed uh, quite easily if um, if the person dies and uh, the beneficiaries or the representatives of, of the person do not wish to continue in the company or in the family company. Or it could be any company. So it would be easy for them to say to, to redeem the shares, okay? Uh, so that 
the beneficiary will look for some other business or do what he or she pleases with the money. So it's, it's another valid point, that one, for issuing redeemable preferences to, to, to avoid complications. Uh, when, when you die, your representatives may be given money easily, okay? Now we move on to the reasons for redemption of shares. We move on to the reasons for redemption of shares. It is an efficient means of using surplus cash resources. Because uh, if we redeem the shares, you know, the cash that was lying idle has been used. And uh, by so doing, we will also incur less in dividends, you know, since the shareholders have been given back their money. It reduces the gearing ratio of the company. Okay. If we redeem the preference shares, remember preference shares form part of debt capital in the, in the business, in the company. So if we redeem them, we are reducing the, the borrowed capital. And by so doing, our gearing ratio will improve. And uh, if the gearing ratio improves, we might probably attract investors because investors don't usually love to, to invest in businesses that are highly geared because they know the business is incurring a lot of interest expenses. Then it might have a contractual obligation to do so. For instance, redeemable shares may have a redemption debt to do so, a redemption debt here. It may be a convenient way to buy out a defiant shareholder, a troublesome shareholder, someone that you are not getting along with well. You know, you may redeem his or her shares so that he finds something else to do with the money that you, he gets from the company and um, you, the shareholders that are, are, appear to be having common goals, a common vision, we work together well. It's not a bad thing. It's just that you are not getting along very well with the other shareholders. So you need to get rid of him or her, okay? So it's another reason, that one. Then we move on to the reasons why there is legislation, why there is legislation to govern redemption of shares. Redemption of shares reduces the resources available to meet claims of the creditors. Therefore, the law is used to safeguard cash which should be used to pay creditors from being used to pay creditors from being used to pay shareholders instead. For example, the firm might see that the company is facing problems and by redeeming the shares, what they are doing is uh, they are paying money to the, to the shareholders, the preferred shareholders. It can, be, it can be tricky if the company is on the verge of collapse. It will mean that as we are paying the, the, the preferred shareholders, there will be less money left to meet the claims of creditors or to pay the creditors just in case the company is liquidated. Therefore, the law has to safeguard creditors because the order of payments in the event of liquidation, the creditors must be paid first. The loan providers, the creditors, the, the accounts payables must be paid first before the shareholders are paid. 
You see? So the law is required to safeguard the what? The creditors. In the next video, we will be looking at methods of redemption. That's it for now, family. Until next time.